All right guys, I'm gonna show you how you can make amazing pixel perfect masks in Photoshop using a selective color adjustment layer in a matter of minutes. Okay, so I've got a pretty simple panoramic stitch here where I've basically just put a curve on it and a black and white adjustment layer. And I wanna basically isolate the Opera House so I can just apply a nice strong contrast to that. So you could quite easily just come in, curves, come into the mask, color range, and then start doing a selection. But your selection isn't going to be overly great because you're actually working, doing selections through the black and white adjustment layer. So it's not really gonna give you a, a good of selections if you did it another way. So what I do is I come down, duplicate your background layer, turn everything else off, come in, selective color, now what I wanna do is I wanna make a mask using color because you've got so much more information in your shot with color. So I wanna separate the sky with the Opera House as best I can. So I'm gonna come in and darken the blues. And you can come into the yellows because there's a bit of yellow in here, you can darken that. Now I'm gonna come in, Command J and duplicate the selective color layer so it actually just intensifies it again. Now I'm gonna come in to the mask section, color range and start holding on the shift key, you can start eye dropping and removing parts of the image. So just come into certain areas where you think you might have problems and select those areas. So once you get it really, really nice, you've got clear definition. You can play with your fuzziness slider to see how it adjusts the selection for you. Click OK. Now what you can do is you can come in Hold down your option key, click on your mask, command L for levels, and just refine it even further by making the blacks blacker and get intensify that separation. Get it as good as you can without making it too crunchy. Click OK. Now with this mask, you want to invert it, command I, so white will reveal, black will conceal. Now you come through and you just paint out with a black paintbrush all the areas you don't want this to contrast to be applied to. I mean, I set my heart, my brush hardness to really hard and just come through. Nice, quick and easy. Really zoom in if you really need to, just to get that really sort of pixeled edge. Do that nice, easy selection, so it's really... Now with these parts on the Opera House here, again, just change your brush tool to painting 100% white. And you can just come in and you can paint all that out. Just come through and get rid of all of it as much as you want, fade it out, whatever you like. So now with that mask selected there, what you can do is you just basically add your curve adjustment layer Hold down the option key, click and drag. Drag it on top of there. It says replace layer mask, yes. And now you can come in, turn on your black and white layers, turn the layers off that you made your selections with. With the mask layer, you can just type it SC and just call it mask, so it's a selective color mask. You don't need your background image anymore. You don't need that selective color adjustment layer anymore. You just basically got your mask there and basically what you first started with. Now you just come in, and you can apply your mask. So you just come in and it's really nice and easy. If you zoom in, you can see it's really, really pixel edged. Now the good thing with this mask is you own it. So if you wanna now do some dodge and burn to the Opera House, you can come in, lay a new layer, set it to soft, soft light, Fill with 50% grey. Hold down your command key, click on the mask, so you load it in. Command H to hide it. 
Now click on your dodge and burn layer, open up your brackets. I'll just set it to 100 so you can see. And now you're coming in and you're using the power of the mask that you just created to apply your dodge and burn to your image. All right guys, it's that easy to make a really detailed pixel perfect mask in Photoshop using selective color. Again, you can apply this in so many different ways in your images, apply that mask to different adjustment layers, and that's basically it. If you like tutorials like this, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, throw some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.